Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. He's now the author of Taking the Lead, Memoir of a Dancing Life, and we are so honored to have you here tonight, Mr. Pierre Dulay. You know, you want to give back to society, and all I could do was dance, so I volunteered my way to a, to a school one day uh, in 1992, and uh, the kids were rough, and you know, but they liked it in a way, but I love doing it. It was very, very difficult at the beginning because what I knew, uh, that, that I actually did know, that my program had to be part of the school day and not an after-school program. Now, part of the school day means the whole class must go en masse. If it was an after-school or what they would call elective, you'd have 20 girls and two, maybe three boys, and that would not work, so that I knew. I also knew uh, when I created the program, I knew I wanted so many dancers, not very difficult, uh, not many, many steps, but really to involve the, um, the decorum, the politeness, the being a lady, being a gentleman from the very, very beginning. And, uh, and you know, it worked. I, that part I knew. How it became successful really was whenever we had a woman come and ask us about doing it in a in a movie for Mad Hot Ballroom, the documentary. But in the meantime, uh, the TV, CBS Sunday Morning News, had come and they did a seven-minute program on us. And the lady by the name of Diane Nabatov, a movie producer, saw it, got in touch with me, and that's how eventually Antonio Banderas played my life, my life, my teaching life in the movie called Take the Lead. So what kind of teacher are you? I teach uh, ballroom dancing. <laughs> And then my latest movie, Dancing in Jaffa, where I got Palestinian Israeli children and Jewish Israeli children to dance together, and I went back to where I was born. That was a big, big, big thing. What I'm asking them to do is to dance with the enemy. So I say this because it's the movies, Mad Hot Ballroom and Take the Lead, that had really made a big difference to us. Check Mr. Delane just getting his flirt on. <laughs> I mean, you know how it is. It's very hard to get a PR for good things. If somebody committed a murder, or whatever, it'll be on the news within two seconds. Whereas good things in life don't, don't make the news very, very often. But um, this, these movies, you know, I mean, if, if Mad Hot Ballroom was seen by one million people, much, much, much more, but take the lead with a feature actor such as Antonio, was seen, say, let's say, by 10 million people. And that really made us international. And then the phone calls came in and came in, and we had to devise a way of uh, franchising it. <laughs> Our very first, actually, was in Omaha, Nebraska, uh, Toronto. Um, and then, of course, we were in um, Fort Worth, Dallas, Fort Worth, Dallas, Dallas, Fort Worth. And then I got a guy by the name of John Ross, who is a wonderful man. He came and helped me expand the program nationally and internationally. Uh, so, no, Long Island was not the first, but it was, I think, in the, in the top five. I would love to get the Congress Republicans and Congress Democrats dancing together. We will see a big difference. Thank you. The dream that I would have, I suppose, would be to have dancing classrooms. It's a big dream, you know, but you never know. Uh, to have dancing classrooms in every town, every city, in every school, in as many countries as possible. That would be a dream come true.